back to stylish ninja youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to stylish ninja youtube channel i thank you guys for your love for your support if you are new to the channel you are high and very welcome if you have not subscribed please subscribe to stylish ninja youtube channel hit on the bell to get an update whenever i upload a new video okay guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this top this crop top with balloon sleeves so that's it's a very simple tutorial so this is a, like a beginners and friendly tutorial so guys if you want to register for my online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of the classes we have presently available okay now so guys let's get started so i have my pattern paper here and then i have some lines already lined on it so the first line i have here this is my shoulder line and then this is my bust line this is my under bust and then this is my full length which also serves as the width so the measurement i'm making is of our base the bust is 36 you divide into four i'm going to have nine the under bust is 26 you divide into four i have 6.5 and then the waist is 28 divide into four you have seven and then the shoulder is 16 the full length is 16.2 so these are the measurements that we're going to be making use of for this. So this is the fabric that I'm going to be making use of. So we'll first of all, draft it on a pattern paper. And then we'll transfer this into a fabric. Okay, guys. So now let's get started. So I have my pattern paper here. So I'm going to be taking out 5 inches from my original measurement. So I'm going to rule this and I'm going to mark it. So this is where I'm starting from because I'm taking out these five inches from my pattern. So because it is an off shoulder. So here's where I'm I'll start from. So I'm just going to fold that in. It's no longer needed because I'm making an off shoulder. Okay, so you take out five inches from your measurement. This is my bust point. Okay, so the next thing now. The next thing now, we're just going to start drafting images. We start imputing our measurement. So my shoulder is 16. So when you divide 16 into two, you have 8 inches. So I'm going to mark the 8 inches here. I'm not going to add any stitching allowance to it. So from this point, I'm going to mark my armhole point. So for the armhole, I'm using 7.5 for my armhole. So I'll just mark it like this. So that's for my arm hole. The next measurement I'm going to add now is my bust circumference. So for the bust, so this dress actually, I'm not making it as a bust here. So it's just a simple top. So the bust measurement that I'm making use of now is 9 inches. So I'll just mark my 9 inches here. And then I would add allowance of 2.5 inches. So from that point, I'll mark this like this. The next measurement I will add is my under bust measurement, which is 6.5. So this is my 6.5 here, my under bust. So I'll add allowance of about 3 inches. Why? Because I'm going to take my dash out from there. So that is why. I'll mark it like this. And then the next one is the waist measurement, which is 7 inches. This is 7 inches. And then I'll repeat my allowance on this point so you see how simple it is now to draft this okay i've not added my that so i'll add my one inch allowance so i'll take out that for it so add it into my pattern so this is how simple it is to draft this the next thing we're going to do i'm going to add the neckline so for the neckline what i'm going to do for the neckline i'm going to minus my shoulder measurements, you know, I'm making use of six inches. So for the neckline, I'm going to use five inches. So I'll mark that five inches here. That's for the neckline. And then the next thing, I'm just going to come down a little bit. I'll come down a little bit with just 1.5, which makes it 6.5. 
for the neckline. So I'll mark this like this. And then from this point like this, I'll float this into my into my neckline, into my armhole point. So this my neckline is not going to be it's not going to be too wide. So you just float that into the it depends on how wide you want your arm your neckline to be. That's for the off shoulder. If you want it more, you can decide to take out. You know, I took out like I took out almost three inches from my own. You can decide to take out just two. So you can use six inches. If you want it very wide, you can just take out one inch. So just keep following the same way and do it like this. So we are done already. So I'm going to cut this out right now. So the next thing we're going to do now, I'm going to add my dart. So for the dart, I'm going to cut the dart and make it like a princess dart pattern. So for the dart, I'm going to use my bust pan, which is 4.5. I'll just mark the four point, the four, sorry, four inches. I'll mark my four inches here. And then when I get to my bust point also, I'll mark my four inches. And then when I get to this shoulder part, I'm going to take it into the armhole. So I'll make that part seven. So I'm just for me to have a curve. So that's that. Just to create a curve here. Just a slant, a slight curve. And then I'm going to use this now to cut out both the back and the front. So for the back, I'm just going to add a zip allowance to the back. So that's it. This is how simple it is to drop the So I'll place it on the fabric and then I'll cut it out. Okay, guys, so I've finished cutting them. So I've cut out my lining. So the next thing, so I've opened up the that part. It's just for me to take this back now to my to my table. That's for my sewing machine, and then I will join the that after joining the that. I've cut out the line after joining the dot. I will turn the line, I will turn the neckline. I will turn it on the neckline points like this and then turn it on the side. So I'm not going to turn the armhole area. That's where we we'll attach the sleeves to. So I'll go and do that and then bring them back and show you. Okay, guys, so I finished teaching. So I've turned it around. So I'm just using my hemming comb. I'm placing my hemming comb inside. So when I iron my, my it will the line will lay flat down. So after that, I joined the back and the front together. So I just marked it, marked my zipper allowance. So I'll go and stitch my zipper allowance together. So after joining my zip allowance, and then I'll turn it like this, and then I'll use my extra inches to join the side side seam, and then I'll bring it back for us to cut out the us to cut out the sleeve so you can see that we're almost done with our crop top okay guys so i finished teaching so you can see so i've coupled it so you can see it is looking so cute and then my armhole so i've just uh, i just trimmed out the armhole nicely so the next thing we're going to cut our balloon sleeves right now so for my balloon sleeve the the flare on top, I'm not going to add it, but I can just explain it for those people that want to, I would want to add it on their own, but I'm going to add the elastic. Okay, so here's, I folded my fabric into four. I'm going to cut now. So this is the length of the sleeve that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use about 15 inches. I don't want it to be too big. So this 15 inches, the elastic casing on top, I'll do one inch here, 
and then one inch at the down part so that's okay for me for the top and the down so the elastic casing is here and then i folded it about 13 inches so i'll just come like this i'll take my arm hole like this and then i'll place it on this edge here you see it is a very simple process so this side like this from here to here now is where i'm going to add the elastic so this is just like a very simple way of, of making an off shoulder sleeve so i'll just mark it so remember making sure that I, I leave allowance for my casing so that's why i shifted it down a little bit and then i'll just curve this like this so for the sleeve it's just straight i'll add elastic on the down part so you can see so very simple so i'll cut this out now so this is our case yeah and then this fits into the armhole area so i'm going to open this up now so if you want to add the flay on top if you want to add that flay that's that split on top what you are just going to do is just for you to cut just cut your cut your fabric and then just ruffle it on top of this point like this that is on top of this shoulder point like this so you can see so you can just cut it straight or you cut it like flay or like a triangle but just ruffle it just split it on top of this this place that's this top point before folding and creating your case your elastic case on it but i don't want to add that to it so i'm just going to leave this so what i will do now take this back to my machine and then i'm going to create my case like this so i'll just stitch this down like this and then i will stitch here i'll stitch here down also and then i'll join them together i'll put past my elastic through here and then pass my elastic through here also so it's, i'm going to be left with just this so if you want a double puff sleeve you can <clears throat> excuse me you can add another one to it okay so you can see our top so this is the sleeve that i made earlier so i've added the elastic on the down part and then on the shoulder part so for the shoulder one i used about about six inches of elastic on it so you can see so this is the armhole area now this is where i'm going to fix it and then this stays like this so you can see how it is looking so i'll do that and then finish the second one also i'm just adding and then when i'm done i'll come back and show you the final look of the crop top okay guys so at the end of the day you can see how our crop top looks like with puff sleeve so you see it actually came out fine so this is the back so like I said, if you want to add that flay here, you can just go ahead and add it. And then if you want the sleeve to be longer, like the picture, just increase the length of what we used on this. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. So this dress is actually a small size, so it will not fit into my mannequin. So that is why. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time.